Hello, so today I'm going to be solving Crop Key Pair Sudoku by Akash Dulani. Uh, he has a blog, which I'll link below, along with uh, the link to the puzzle so you can try it yourself. The rules are pretty simple, so we have classic Sudoku rules. In addition to that, we have Crop Key rules, and there's no negative constraint on this puzzle. So I'll explain what that means. So Crop Key rules, you're going to have white dots and black dots, and cells between the white dots uh, must be consecutive. So if you're just to subtract the two values, you'd end up with one. And between black dots, there needs to be a one to two ratio. So two, four, or three, six, for example, would, would work here, right? Three and six. Um, in addition, you may notice that for black dots and white dots, one and two it are both possible. Let me pick a black dot where two is possible here. And so in a black dot, you can do one and two. In a white dot, you can do one and two. So the, the constructor has just decided which dot color to use. So we could have one and two separated by black dot somewhere over here and a white dot somewhere over here, and that, that's no issue. This particular puzzle does not have a negative constraint, which means that, say, I have these two, which are not separated by a dot. That could also be one, two, or three, six, or whatever we want, and it's not going to be a problem. So not all of the dots are given. So those are the rules. And please feel free to try it out uh, at the link below before you watch my solve. And I'm going to start solving now. All right, so the first thing I like to look at in these is black dots are limited in which values can be on them. So. Notably, you can't have a, a 5, 7, or 9 on a black dot, because what would you put with it? You, know, you can't, with a 7 that's prime, so you can't, or it's odd, so you can't divide it by 2, and it's anything over 4, if you multiply it by 2, you end up with 10 or higher. So 5, 7, and 9 can't be there. So I don't think I'm going to mark it quite yet, but on the black dots, we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, or 8. So that, that's something to watch out for. So um, just trying to see if there's anything that sticks out to me. Well, I guess I can start marking just regular Sudoku as well. So fives have to be here. Let's see what else we have. I'm seeing sevens on this box, but that's not too helpful. So OK, this box has a few black dots, so 9 is going to be restricted to these cells. We already have 5 and 7. That's not too helpful. Um, I guess 9's on the, this row as well, so 9's limited to here. If we can limit that one more, I might mark that. Um, we don't have 5, 7, or 9 in this box, so 5's we already limited to here. 7's could be anywhere, 9's, nope. Okay, so what about this box? So fives can't be here. Seven's already in the box. Nines can't be here. Nope. What am I missing to get started? All right, well, the other thing we can look at is consecutives. So we have these consecutive chains in a few places. So Four and five are used up, so this would have to be one, two, three, with two in the middle. And I don't see anything keeping it from being that. Or we have to be higher than five, so six, seven, eight, nine. These can't be seven. So this could be seven, eight, nine. We can't have a six, I think, because if we had a six here, we'd have to have a 7 next to it, and, and um, a 5 and a 7 next to it. And if we had a 6 here, we'd have to have a 7 here, and a 6 here would have to have a 7 here. So we can't have a 6 here. So we're limited to 1, 2, 3, or 7, 8, 9, and 7's limited to here. So those are our possibilities. Just trying to see if anything limits that further. Um, so where does 6 go? 6 is limited to these. Not so helpful. All right, well, we can look at this one as well. Um, again, we can't, we can't have 7 or 9, so definitely can't have an 8. What about 6? I think 
So the three means we can't have a one or a two. And then, so four, five, six looks like. So we could have four, six with a five between them. There's no seven. Can a seven go here? Seven, six, five looks possible. No sevens here. What about eight? Oh, yeah. Can't have eight. All right, I think that, that covers it. Can't do one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six. We got five, six, seven. It has to have the seven here, so it would be five, six, seven. Okay. Um, six, seven, eight is not possible because the seven would have to be in the middle. And then seven, eight, nine is not possible because of the nine. All right. Just wanted to double check that I didn't mess, miss anything there. This is almost a triple, but not quite. So what can we do with that? Sevens, sixes. Okay. So here's two crop key dots in a chain as well as here. So we can look at that. So if this were a one, We'd have to go two and then four. If this were a two, we could we can't go back down to one because we'd have to go back up to two. So it has to increase. It has to go four and then eight. Don't see any restrictions on that yet. Uh, three. We can't do three six because there'd be nothing to do after the six. We'd have to go back to three, and that's not possible. And then four. We can go down to two and then one. Um, and we can't go to eight because for eight, we'd have to then go back to four. So I believe that is everything. What about eight here? Eight, four, eight, four, two. I believe that's possible. None of that's restricted. Okay, so we should have something similar over here. So one, two, four, two, Four, eight, four, two, sorry, two, one, and eight, four, two. All right, so that ends up looking exactly the same, and there's nothing to remove there. So this is all very close to being something, but not quite. We have a crop key and then a consecutive on these ends. So, and there's no one. So if this were two, four, this can't be a five, so it would have to go down to three, because five's, five's in the column. We could be three, six, and then seven. Again, we can't be five. Four, Two, three, or four. Well, we can't be four, eight because there's an eight in this column or this row. Sorry. And then we can't have a five on a crop key. Um, so six and eight are what's left. So we could do six and then three and then two or four. Yikes. Okay. And then eight is the last one. We could do eight, four, two, or sorry, four, three, or four. Five, but there's no five in the column. Okay. So that is our possibilities. So anything <laughs> to be done about that? I think we'll have something similar here, but I think the restrictions are a bit different, so I have to do it again. So bear with me here. So we can be one this time, so we can do one, two, and then three. We can do two, four, and then three or five. Three, six, and then five or seven, but there's no seven. All right, there's a seven in the column. Uh, we can't do four, eight. We could do four, two, and then a one or a three. Um, but we can't do four, eight. And then we could do six, three, and then a 
2 or a 4, and then I can't have an 8. Okay, so still not seeing anything significantly restrictive here. One, two, four, eight. So are three, six at all? See, eight, three, six are possible here, so that doesn't really help with the one, two, four, eight. Here we can't do 3, 6, so this is 1, 2, 4, or 8, because we can't do the 3, 6 part of the chain. So there's something going on with that. Missing, uh, well, I got a, oh, I got a 2, 8 here. Okay, so 1, 2, 4, 8 are limited here. So this can't be a 1. Does that restrict? Not really. Because this 2 can still go to 3. Well, if this can't be 1, we can't have 1, 2, 3. So I think that removes a 3 from that 1, 9. Yeah, because we can't do 3, 2, 3. So the only other option is 3, 2, 1. So yeah, that removed that. If I could get one more elimination here. So we're 9, 8, 7, or 1, 2, 3. That's interesting. I'm not seeing any, like, hidden... Well, so 3 is limited to these 3, so it has to contain a 3 in it. So I'm going to redo this where we have to have a 3. So, sorry, but we're redoing this. So starting with 3, we'd have 3, 6, and then 7. Uh, if this were a 3, we'd have a 6 over here, and then this would be a 2 or a 4. If this were a 3, then consecutive we could be 2 and then 4, or we could be consecutive 4 and then 2 or 8. That, that doesn't feel much more restricted to me. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to remark these as one of them being 3. 3 is at all restricted now. Not particularly. Oh, I thought I would get something from that, but it's it looks the same to be honest. Um, oh, I, I can't be seven here. Did that? Okay, so six can't go to five or seven. So there can't be a six here. So that can't be six three like that. Should I redo this? Well, no. Okay, so two, three, four, two. So we have a two, three, four in the column now. So this can't be two or four. This can't be two or four. And this can't be two. So this has to be eight. So this is nine, eight, seven. This is one, two, four. Wow, we got we got a lot going on here. I'm gonna try to clean this up. These can't be two. So that's a three, four pair. So this is six, three. Four. Okay, we. I think we broke in finally. Uh, that was cool. All right. So, what eliminations do I have? This can't be three or four. So the three would have seen the six. The four would have seen. Well, we can't eliminate a two from here because the one can still be a two. I do wonder about. Okay, so two, four, six. It does sound like one through five is still viable. Uh, two and four here, a oh, one here. Okay, so six, seven, five, six. So this is kind of like a thermo. Um, so this can be seven, six, five, 
or 654. So this can't be 6 anymore. Um, 246. 2456. 2456. Yep, yeah, looks right. So this can't be 245. This can't be 2, right? Because 2456. Yep. Yeah. So we have a 1, 3. Okay, so 1 and 3. So this can't be 6 because it has to be consecutive with 1 and 3. So this is either 1, 2. Oh, it can't be 1, 2, 1. Okay, so it can't be 1, 2. Whoops. So that, that makes this 3, 2, and then 1. Okay. So this is 4. So this, these can't be 1 anymore, or 4. So these are two 8s. Oh, and 8's in the row, so this is 2 and 8. I guess I could have seen that 8 was the only... This was the only place for an 8. Uh, we have a 4 place, so this is 5, 6, 7. We're getting there. Alright, so 2 and 4 and 8 are removed. This is a 1, so that has to be 2. And what else? Probably... At this point, we're pretty close to just being Sudoku. This has to be two, because of the, these two twos. Um, two is in here somewhere. I've done nothing with the middle box. I wonder if there's two is limited to here. Threes are limited to here. All right, should I look at this box? It has the, or maybe this consecutive. So what, what can we be? So four through nine in the box is possible. Um, but we don't have four, seven, or eight at the top here. So five, six, or nine is what that sounds like. And then here, we don't have eight or nine. So four, five, six, seven. Five can go with four or five, six can go with five or six. Nine doesn't have a partner, so five and six, yep, that looks right for five and six consecutive. Um, so where does nine go? One of these three, and then eight. Eight is one of these two. So what can this be then? Let's just do all three of these for the row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, eight, or nine. And this can't be eight. Oh, these can't be one. Okay, I should have seen that. So one's here. This is an eight, nine pair. Maybe finding that eight, nine pair would have been faster than dealing with the consecutives, but we got there. So the rest of this is four, five, six, seven. Um, this can't be seven, whoops, seven. Not seeing any other eliminations there. Anything with eight nines? No. Well, so this can't be eight nine anymore because that would get put nothing in here. So this might be more restricted than I would think. So this, this can't be two, four, seven, eight, and we know it can't be eight, nine. So that's one, three, five, um, that's it. So one, three, or five, and then is there anything preventing? Oh, and we have a one in the column. So this is three or five, which makes this, so the three would be two or four, and the five would be three or six. But there's, is there anything? There's no two in the, or there's two in the box. In fact, twos, we can place this two. Do we have all the twos yet? We will soon. Oh no, so the, we have this pattern of twos and then the rest are placed. Okay. Three, four, six. Three, five. So, what about the crop key dot? Again, we can't have an 8. Well, we could have an 8 in it. Sorry, what am I talking about? This row has only four candidates left. I'm just going to fill those in and see if there's anything interesting there. 1, 4, 6, 8. 
So there's no one or four here. No one here. No six here. Four one. So is this, yeah, this is the only place for a one. And so that puts a one here. We're going to finish the ones. These ones all look in. Yes. And then down here, this is a one. All right, we have all the ones. That's cool. So should I look at this dot? Just checking if there's anything obvious. There probably is, and I'm just not seeing it. I'm very good at not seeing things that are right in front of my face. Well, there's only two left in here. What are they? One, two, so it's three or six. And unfortunately, I'm not seeing an elimination there. What about these three? Three, five, and nine. These can't be three, so that's a three. Then five, nine. Here, there's nine here. Okay, great. Five, nine. So these can't be fives. What does that do? Well, it puts five in one of these two. Six would go with seven. Five would go with four or six. That's still correct. Oh, there's a three in this row. Maybe I just placed that. I'm, I'm going to believe that I just placed that. So we have four, seven here. There must be a, so that means this can't be four. So this is five, six. So we're five, four, or six, seven. Okay, making progress. I don't think this is resolvable yet. Okay. Uh, is it time to look at this dot? Well, I'm avoiding it because I don't think it's going to do anything, but maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be avoiding it. But uh, 3, 6, 8, and 9. So this can't be 3 or 6. That's an 8, 9 pair, so that places a 6 and a 3. This can no longer be 3. In fact, where can 3 go? Just these two. Can this be 6? I don't see why not. Three, four, or five, six. That's all fine. Okay, that eight, nine leaves two left here. That's a two and a seven. Yeah, two, seven. Not seeing any eliminations for that. And this is a triple, whatever's left. Um, so it's five, eight, nine. No eight here. I can get rid of those marks. Nothing, huh? Okay, well th these have to be pretty restricted. So what can the what can this one? Let's just do this row and then I'll I'll do the crop key part. So one, two, so we can be three, um, five, eight or nine, right? Yes. So we know there can't be a 9 or a 5 on the black dot. If it's a 3, then this is a 6. If it's an 8, then it's a 4. Both of those are possible. That's a 4-6 pair up here. Oh, in the box, it's a 4-6. That places 8, 3, 4, oops, 8, 3, 6, 4. Uh, this can still be 3 or, oh no, because there's a 3. So that's a 5. Oops, I don't know what I did, but that leaves an 8, 9 in the row. Uh, oh, there's an 8 in the box, so that's 9, 8, 9. There's one left in this box. It is a, what is it, 7? One left in this row is an 8, I think. That's a 4. All right, I think we're pretty much done now. Just have to clean up, so what's left? 4 and 7. That goes that way. This is five, six, and nine. All right, well, don't immediately see how that resolves, so I'll just fill them. Yeah, nothing there. Oh, I filled these up, so this is five, four, six, seven. Whoop.
Uh oh. What happened? Oh no. Um, well. Do I back up and try to fix this? Did this have to be a seven? Well, it does if the box is full like that. Okay, what was my logic here? This four, six pair. This can't be eight, nine, but it can be eight, seven. Or this can't be seven, eight, because this is seven. So is that, I don't think I used this in, up to this point. It was this four, six pair that got me all that. So I'm thinking this is probably seven <laughs> because of my mistake, but I'm not gonna use that. Uh, yeah, I don't see why that can't be eight, seven. Okay, so it was my fault for, there could have been a nine, but eight was still possible here. And that's the mistake I made. Okay, well, let's move on. So, what else am I missing here? This were six three, then this would be five six four seven. So this can't be five four six. This can't be three six five. Eight nine pair puts a seven here. So far we're working. That puts a seven here, which has to go with the eight. That leaves, what's missing here? Four, nine, four, eight. So that, that would be four, nine, five. This is all working. How far do I go? That's too far already for me. Let's try it the other way. So eight, four. That does nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, five here, or eight, so that's a nine. This can't, well, so what's left here is uh, one, two, three, five. This can't be three, so that's five, three. Are these both working? Did I pick the wrong? That's a six or seven. Okay, so I have a nine placed. So this is eight. That's a six, seven. This is working about as well as the other one did. This four sees eight, four, eight. Oh, okay. That's it, that's, that's, okay, that's what I wasn't seeing. I don't feel too bad about that. So let me just explain it. If this is eight and four, that comes over here and makes this eight, four, and eight. And then now we have two eights in the box. So another way to put that is, oh, it's even simpler than that. If this is eight, four, what can this be? Okay, so it's not eight, four. Oh, I should I should have seen that. That it, it's tough when you're not looking like for stuff like that. Um, all right, th that should th that should break the puzzle. I already kind of went through a lot of this, and it, it was working very well, giving me a lot of a lot of givens. So um, this is the only okay. So this three is placed already. 
So a six, and here we have four and five already. So that's an eight, nine pair. So that's a seven, that's a seven. Um, eight, nine. So no more sevens here. Oops. And four, eight, four. Uh, I feel like I got more last time I did this. Well, let's let's just keep going. So, oh, I thought that was going to be it. That we would just collapse here. Okay, four, four, eight, five. No, that's not. What am I missing? Some elimination somewhere? Fives are here. This can't be three. Five, eight, nine. Here we go. So this can't be five or nine. This can't be five, eight or nine. And this can't be eight. That, that's the one. Okay, four. That does this. Are you serious? Five, eight, nine. Uh, this is the only place for a three in the column. And a six. I have a four corner marked. Yep, only place for a four. Apologize for the speed here. Five, eight, nine. Okay, so that's a six. Okay, what, what uh, disambiguates these five, eight, nines that are everywhere? I'm sorry, it's this, it's a white dot. All right. That's what I get for forgetting about the constraint. Eight, five, nine, eight, five, nine, five. All right, so that is a very long way to solve the crop key pair Sudoku by Akash Dulani. Um, let me know how you did in the comments. Uh, I hope it was better than me. <laughs> it looks like it took me about 42 minutes. It's a good number though, 42. All right, and really it was because I wasn't spotting the 4-8 the preventing this from being 4-8, and I, I probably should have been seeing that, but uh, I had to play around with the numbers before I kind of caught that that logic there. So I'm glad I didn't have to completely bifurcate. Um, just exploring the puzzle like that can sometimes just make something click. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully that's not a strategy you have to employ all the time, but I tend to I tend to do that when I'm not seeing what I need to see. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my solve. And if you want to see more videos like this, I'll, I'll uh, make sure you subscribe. I also post videos of how to solve puzzles that I make, and I try. I do a lot of work beforehand to find the most optimal path, um, and I and I do cuts, so it's not not as long. So those could be a more enjoyable solve if you are more enjoyable to watch if you want to see like optimal performance on on solving something. But anyway, so until next time, thanks for watching.